Hello, my name is Jaquincy Ponder, and I'm here to illustrate to you my use of um, the turning point technology, which is an assessment tool that you can use in the classroom when assessing your students. Um, turning point has response clickers so that the students can respond to the question that has been asked. And one of the reasons that I like turning point and taking tests in turning point is because it is an instant grader of what the students are doing and it keeps up with that information for you. So as I go through my tutorial, I will point out those things to you and make certain that you know how to use turning point from start to finish, okay? We begin, of course, by creating our title page because of it. Um, the turning point assessment is done in a PowerPoint form. Okay, so here I've already created my title page for my unit two pretest, in which the students will be um, tested on in the upcoming weeks. All right, I um, pull my questions that I would like the students to answer and. I start out by simply putting it on a slide, okay? The next page, I will re-ask that question, but this time, I will do a response only slide. And as I get further down, I will show you here as I get ready to do this one, okay? This is just a standard slide. Um, I use the layout that I use was the compare layout. So I simply put the question there, the picture here, and the answer choices here. This gives the students the opportunity to look at the question, see the picture, think about their answer choice, and to prepare to um, answer the question. Okay. So next I'm going to go here. where it says tool or maybe not tool maybe I'm gonna go into insert object maybe not sounds as if I'm not sure but I really am <laughs> I'm actually gonna go into insert slide and responses only okay here I will simply copy this question from the previous slide, paste it where it says enter question text. And then here, I will simply copy and paste my answer choices. Okay. Um, over here in the turning point pane is where you can um, select if you only want certain participants to participate if you don't want you know if you got multiple classes and you don't want all of the classes to take the test you can um, click on what class you want to take the test um, we're going to leave this as is, auto for now. You can change the point value um, for whether it's correct or what. how many points they'll lose if it's incorrect. Um, you can change whether you want it to be multiple responses or if you just want it to be one response. Um, that choice is yours, of course. And here is where you can put in whether the answer is correct or incorrect. Okay, this answer being B, I'm going to select correct. After that, I'm going to go here to insert objects, and I'm going to insert a correct answer indicator. This basically let the students know that they have selected the correct answer. I check that, okay? So once I know that everything is good on my end, I'm going to go ahead and save this present well this presentation save all the information that I've inserted
Okay. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is do a test to make certain that my polls are open and it is picking up the responses. So here you go and you do a polling test. And of course, this is for your students. They have the response indicators in their hands so they can um, click on once you start test they can turn it on of course they check to make sure the channel is correct and in this particular testing mode my channel is channel 38 okay so I'm gonna press anything And that lets me know that all of my devices are there, all of them are working before ever beginning the test. Because one of the things that you don't want to do is begin the test and then realize some of your students' um, clicker is not working. Okay? So, since it's only me um, doing this, it's only one device or one clicker that's going to show. Okay? So, I can end test and I can actually exit out of that. Then I can go here and start my presentation um, from the beginning. Of course, you can do all of the design and, and adding of the designs to it if you, you know, if that's your choice, you know, um, however you feel about it. And we, we're just going to go with that one. Um, no reason in particular. We're just going to go with that one. So we're going to go here to slideshow and we're going to start from the beginning. Okay, so it gives us our, our introduction slide. It tells us what unit we're working on, the standards, and things of that nature. Go on. The first question says, what does the lamp give off? And I'm, because I changed between the design that I was using, the lamp kind of shrunk, but it was actually bigger than that. Okay, so that's this is the page where you actually give the students the opportunity to think about what question it is that they want to choose. Okay, so you read these questions to your students and you read the answer choices. On the next page, I do it independently and I let the students read the question on their own. Um, the poll here is supposed to be open, so I need to see why it is not open. Okay, there we go. So now the poll is open. Just need to push this back into its place. We'll just move it out of the way. Okay. And the student will answer the question, what does the uh, lamp give off? They will simply press three or C and that will pretty much take care of that question okay I would then go on to the next question you could close the poll or you could go on to the next question I'm gonna go on to the next question And here you can it'll show you the people who have not responded um, and as you can see it's only once again it's only one person that show turns it off this shows non greater response this show greater responses okay so there's only one response Excuse me, it looks like I'm having a hard time. 
Okay, and we're gonna put a timer on it. Maybe that will close the poll. Gives your students time to answer the question and it closed the poll, okay? So got that one correct. Move on to the next one. Here's the next question. How is energy being used in this picture? Go to the next slide. Open that question. How is energy being used in this picture? Students choose their answer choice. Of course, after you start the timer. Timer counts down. Cold closed. And we move on to the next question. Which form of energy does the lamp use to get power? Pole is open. Choose our answer. Timer. Poll is closed. Give us our correct answer. Move on to the next one. What kind of energy is being used to toast a marshmallow? Okay. Next, we read our question. Have the students do it independently. They choose their answer. All right. That's the end of our session. Okay. We come out it. You go ahead and you save the current session. Save it as um, unit two pretest home room. Save it. And then you can go back and look at the results of your students' answers of their assessment, their pretest. So here, go there, and we go to settings. No, not settings. I'm sorry. Go to participants. Reports. You go to reports. And you click on the report that you want to see. Um, if you want to see the participants' results, click on that. Graded participant results. You click on that. And a spreadsheet will pop up with the device number and the answers that the students gave, the total they had correct, and if they had any correct, that will be outside of it as well. Um, of course, you assign your students device number so therefore you know which student or which device belongs to what student when it's time for you to input the grades into your grading system and it's fairly easy self-explanatory I know it seems as if I stumbled some I actually knew what I was doing but I'm a tad bit nervous because I know people are gonna watch this um, but nonetheless this is turning point if you have any questions about Turning Point, um, feel free to ask those questions in the forum discussion post. Thank you and have a great evening.